so like I said in my previous video, I have a lot of stories. Certain stories that I'm not really proud of, like this one right here. Uh, this happened a couple of years ago. I'm not gonna say what year, cause I messed up on my last video. It wasn't 2016 nor 17. It was 14 and 15. But uh, this happened a couple of years ago, and a lot of people. I've mentioned this before, but a lot of people really want to know, like, what was the reasoning for me to do it? Like, what was my motive? Um, it's four in the morning, and there's construction work outside. Like, that don't, don't make no sense. Anyways, um, a lot of people really want to know what made me drop out of high school. What was my motive? Uh, what pushed me towards that now let's take a step back i've always been a straight a student um up until i went into middle school middle school i started ending up being with the wrong people talking back to teachers i was just awesome i don't give a fuck move type thing and i thought i was like big boss big tough guy in reality i wasn't i used to tell my mom every single day when she used to wake me because my mom used to walk me to school mind you my school was maybe like five minutes away walking she walked me to school every single day up until my freshman year of high school because i had to take a train to go to high school and she didn't want to do all of that so that was like like I said in my last video, my mom really didn't let me go outside by myself. She didn't trust a lot of people. So up until my freshman year high school, she walked me to school and picked me up. So there's a lot of things like you would understand as the story goes on. I'm in middle school, probably I'll say I'm like 13, 14 at this time. And I was never, ever, ever bullied. Like when I was in elementary school, we all was cool like everybody was cool I, I used to have the most fun literally across the street i'm literally looking at it right now that's my elementary school right there but it's dark right now so it's not gonna really like show so every day i used to like be happy to go to school i would tell my mom like i'm not trying to miss a day in school up until i went into middle school middle school i started giving her excuses or oh, i don't feel good or we didn't have school <laughs> we didn't have school that day or i would just make up any excuse um i would physically like make myself throw up i, I just really didn't want to go to school because i used to get bullied on a consistent basis um i was never the most athletic kid i was always good you know baseball wise and school work wise but they didn't really care about that they the people that i used to go to school with really didn't care about that they used to call me a nerd fat gay all of these things because i didn't have a girl i was always with guys you know like those are my homeboys like what do you want me to do if i hang out with guys i'm gay if i hang out with strictly girls i'm gay so it's like at that time i'm like bro this shit just makes no sense to me whatsoever like what do y'all want like at that time i was trying to please other people before pleasing myself so i was just in this predicament where i was like yo like when i turn 16 i'm dropping out that was my mindset and i'm like a couple of more years a couple of more years i'm gonna just leave school find a job make money transform and everybody's gonna start hating that was my mindset back then so fast forward a couple of years i didn't graduate middle school but I guess the principal was really, really close with my family that he ended up just sending me to high school. Um, that doesn't determine the fact that I got left back twice in seventh grade um, because I used to get suspended, sent to a different school for my suspensions, which I never showed up to. It was just like, I was a really bad kid to the point that like I was trying to get myself expelled like I didn't want to be there like I, every day that I went into that school I just felt drama I just felt bullshit I just felt like I didn't belong here fast forward a couple of years I go to high school my first year of high school my freshman year since day one it was just nothing but bad vibes nothing but it, I, it was just a whole new world for me like I was I had a couple of friends that I used to go to school with from years back that ended up going to the same high school that I was in. So even when I knew certain people, 
didn't even fuck with me when I went to high school. They got their own friend group, and they just, they just didn't care about me. Like, that. I would walk past them, and they would act like I don't even, like, they don't even know me. So, I was just like, yo, this is like hell. I'm going to be very honest with you. I didn't even make it the whole year. I would say out of the, what, couple of months that school was in session, I probably, in total of the times that I actually got up and went to school, it probably added up to not even a month. There was times that I wouldn't go to school for maybe two, three weeks um, without my mom even knowing. She would think, she would assume that I would leave home every day and go to school and then sometimes I'll come like 12 o'clock afternoon or like one o'clock really early before school was even ended and she would just be like why are you here I would just be like oh they let me out early or it was a half a day or something so I would just make any excuse not to go to school like I know a lot of people would be thinking like girl you made the sacrifice to wake up get ready go outside and bullshit for eight nine hours when you could just go to school for those eight, nine hours. And my mindset back then, I was just like, nah, bro, like this is not for me. I'm not gonna continue going to school and being bullied off of dumb shit. Like I, I wasn't the flyest, nor was I the cutest, or like at that time, I wasn't a nobody to anybody. Like I would go to school, be a loner, not even pay attention in class. And I thank God for lunchtime, we was allowed to go outside and go to McDonald's and stuff like that. And that time, you know, I used to smoke a lot of weed and a lot of cigarettes at that time. So I would just sneak out and smoke me a joint or whatever. And I would just skip school. I used to take lunch break at like 12.30 and we didn't get out of school until like 2.15. So I didn't have much of a time difference from when I'm there and when school was ended. So I figured, you know, let me just skip school and let me just go home. Cause my thing was I can just go home, be safe, play video games, be in the comfort of my own home and and not really deal with the situations because I'll be honest with you, there wasn't a day that I would be in school and I wouldn't get into an argument with one of my exes or there wouldn't be a day that I haven't had an argument with a teacher and I, I got kicked out or whatever the case may be. Like it was always drama every time I was in school. And I personally felt like it wasn't healthy. So I spoke to my mom. This was a year after my father passed away. And I told her straight up, like, listen, you disown me if you want, but I'm not going back to school. She understood everything that I was saying, but in her mind is, if you're gonna leave high school, you have to get your GED. I'm not telling you to get it now, but you have to get it before you turn 21. I was like, all right, fine. I'm 17 at this time. I'm like, bro, I got four years to get that. I'm chilling. And it ended up being like that. Uh, I dropped out when the school year started again. I enrolled myself in GED. And it was just like, bro, I wasn't, I, I didn't belong there. I was in class. I was 17, 18 at this time in class with 40 year olds, 30 year olds, sometimes 50 year olds. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like at this point, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have a job, I don't have money. The only person that was there and, and helping me financially was my dad and he's gone. So it's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing next because I've applied to jobs. I didn't have no job experience. My resume was shit. So I'm like, oh boy, what what am I gonna do? I spoke to my mom and I'm just like, listen, my like, I get you want me to go to GED. You want me to get my diploma regardless of anything, but this is not for me. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm a big advocate of school is not for everybody. There's millionaires that become successful. They don't have a high school diploma, nor do they have any college degrees, and they're successful. I didn't have that mindset. I, I wasn't gonna sit here and say to her like, oh, I'm gonna be successful without this, that, and the third. By any means, I didn't mean that in any way, but I just wanted to tell her like, listen, like this is personally not for me, and I'm not gonna continue forcing myself to do something that I don't wanna do. I'm always known for 
if I'm in an uncomfortable situation, I find a way to get out of it because I'm not going to be in it whatsoever. So long story short, I dropped out of high school because I was getting bullied. Bro, I tell you, it was like the movies. I would get milk thrown on me, lunch thrown on me. I would get pushed down the stairs. I would get called every name in the book. I would just be this type of person like a punching bag to everybody and I was just like bro I'm like probably one of the sweetest people you would ever meet didn't start no problems I was just always about my photography my schoolwork my drawing like I was just always to myself so when people I always ask myself like why I get so much thrill off of bullying me when y'all don't even know me I don't know you but since you're the bully of the school or the bully group that y'all decide to want to pick on somebody that hasn't even done anything to you. So I ran away from my problems. This day and age, I would have handled it a little bit different. You wanna bully me, that's fine, but these work. As, as, as much as I wanted these to work back then, these definitely work now. But I don't wanna you know, continue living my life off of violence and off of dumb shit, you know? Like I, I'm just a person about positivity no matter what I went through in life. I'm the type of person that I know after a big thunderstorm, there's always gonna be a sunshine and rainbow at the end of the day. So I try to like think positive about everything. And that's why I like to help people as much as I can, which is why I started making videos on Facebook back in the days and it ended up getting popping. But then me, myself, at that age, I didn't know what fame was and I just neglected it. I, I didn't care about it. Um, and now that I'm in this age right now, which I kind of regret neglecting it, but it just shows my journey that I'm not giving up no matter what people tell me and no matter how many people want to put me down, regardless of anything, I'm here, I'm stronger than ever and nobody's going to stop that. If you ever like feel like leaving school or leaving a job, whatever the case may be, you always have to have a plan B. You can't just leave something and just be like, you know what? That's life. It's not life. You always have to have a plan B. My plan B was my brother, thank God, one of my brothers, he ended up hooking me up with a job, ended up working in a pet shop for like a couple of months. And then ever since that job, I just been getting job after job after job. And now that I'm in this job right now, which is not the best job, but now that I see myself at 22, that I'm trying to, you know, put my business out there and put products out and, and move to a whole nother city and a whole nother state just to open up my own sneaker store and just try to look at life in a different way. Save as much money as you can because you're not a promise of tomorrow. I look at things in a completely different way now. If I had this mindset back then, I probably would have stood in school. And I would never tell anybody to drop out of school. I was always told it's never too late to go back to school. And I agree with that. But like I said before, school is not for everybody. So thank you guys for listening to this story. Like I said before, if you want to listen to more stories and want to know more things about my life or just things that happen to me in general, just go down, smash the like button. And please subscribe. On our way to 200 subs, we're kind of in this... 115 mark for a little too long and I know it's because of me that I haven't been posting as many you know videos as I can it's just work has been completely completely busy and I have to really think about my next move because I don't think working as many days as I'm working in a row and not getting any rest I don't think it's the best thing for me to do right now I don't think it's the healthiest thing for me to do Thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. Be humble. Remain hungry. Stay cozy.